Travis Kelsey. Lots of us have never heard his name in our entire life before. I don't know a Travis Kelsey from a Lamar Odom. You know, if Lamar wasn't on, I don't know any sports people. I never heard of the guy before. Chiefs, this, that. I don't know. I don't care. Certainly know him now. Travis Kelsey is my breakout star of the year. To your point, your daughter is wearing his freaking shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Him. I think that's funny. Like a lot of people say that he was nobody before, and Tra- and uh, Taylor made him, but I don't think that's the case. He was, you know, in the Super Bowl last year. Everybody knew him. He had a reality show um, made about him and dating. So he's obviously been on the map, just not on our map, not on our radar. He was on Watch What Happens with Ramona. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So he's been a star in someone's orbit before ours. But I, I agree. I did not know who he was. But I think he's a great guy. I love his humor. I think he's adorable. And um, I really want him to succeed. So I like that. Um, okay, for me, I had a couple. I can't decide. But I'll pick two. For This guy, I think, has been around a little bit. But I think this year he really, um, you know, broke out of his shell. Bowen Yang um, from Saturday Night Live. His George Santos impress- impression like killed it. I think that he's one of the best on Saturday Night Live right now. And I'm really happy to see that. I remember I watched the first night he was on and I was like nervous for him. You could tell how nervous he was. And now I think he's great. Do you know who he is? Yeah. Fire Island. He had the whole movie Fire Island. He he had a great year. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's great. And then an ode to you, because, you know, I don't do a lot of reality TV stars, but I think the um, new housewife of New York, Bryn Whitfield, became a breakout star. Um, obviously we did not know who she was. Um, and now people love her, love her, hate her, whatever it is. She is on people's radar. So I thought she was an interesting breakout star. And people, the shoes, her shoes, the Louboutins, they got stuck in the elevator at BravoCon. They went, I mean, she has a moment at BravoCon that people will be talking about for years. So she certainly knows how to get attention that Bryn Whitfield. And I will tell you, I saw a dress on her from some sort of random clip. And I stalked the internet trying to find the dress that she was wearing. And I actually tracked it down and bought it. It just came to my house. So... Again, I don't actually watch The Housewives of New York, but I definitely know who she is, and I, I, she's in my mind a little bit. So, good, good job. I love right. it. All right, one to watch in 2023, headed to 2024. But, like, who's the person that you think is on the radar right now that's going to break out in 2024? This is literally no I – mean, it's a breakout, so nobody is going to know what I'm talking about, I don't think. But do you know the Bet Chef? It's what? such a, it's the batch chef. The, the Instagram handle is it's QCP. And this guy's name is Gianluca Conte. You have to watch it. He wears this apron that says Betch, and, and he's also really hot, so you see the whole body. But it's he has, like, a 2 million followers on Instagram, and he does, like, a thing. And he's, like, Betch, and he cooks, and he just, look it up right now. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, I've been obsessed with this, like, it's not just because he's hot. It's really, he cooks. He's like, today we're going to make pasta. And it's just, the videos are so great, and they're so interesting. And I mean, literally, he has like 2 million followers. And it's it's becoming, it's like, it is, it's way more of a thing now than it was like 12 months ago. I think he's the one to watch. Look up the Instagram. It's QCP. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I, I have it's no like, idea what I'm talking about. I mean, it's like, I, I'm like, no one's going to know what I'm talking about. But like, it's, it's yeah, the Instagram is, it's QCP. He has 2.2 million followers. He has sponsorships. And he, it's not just like, he's like, today we're going to make a sub. And it's not just all Italian, but they're really, in, it's cooking. It's like, he's he's a cooking influencer. He just yeah. did an ad for Gordon Ramsay. And it's really interesting. He's also part of Next Models. He has a side gig. That's the one I'm putting my money on. Okay. For me, one to watch in 2024, who came into my radar in 2023. Well, I have one that I really like. We both, I think, had her on our show, Meredith Lynch. She's um, an Instagram Instagram influencer. She always has something to say. A couple people have sent her cease and desists. Um, Bethany Frankel, I think Rachel Zoe. um, And she always is like one foot ahead of the story. I really like her. I think she's interesting. I think her take on things are interesting. Um, what What are your thoughts on her? Yeah, listen, I loved her. I had great chemistry with her. And you know how that is. You just, because someone's whatever, you don't 
can't tell how the chemistry is. Great chemistry when she came on my show. Listen, she puts in the work. You know what I mean? Like, these deep dives she does, like, it's no joke. Like, she has, you know, her T's are crossed and her I's are dotted. I'm like, man, that takes dedication, you know? So I, I'm a huge Meredith fan. I love her. Yeah. Um, you guys can check her out on both of our podcasts um, to hear what um, she talks about. For me, I think it's a little different than what she talks about with you. We talk about our stories of grief. She, you know, she lost her mother. Um, we talk about her life and how she got to where she is. And then we do get into some of the deep dives. I think on your show, you guys get more into the the pop culture deep dive stuff. Right? Bethany, the Zoe. And we did some recapping of Jersey and Beverly Hills. You know, yeah. anyone that wants to recap can come on my podcast any day. Go on. And then another person uh, heading into 2024, Renee Rapp. Do you know this name? No. I didn't think you would, but she starred on Broadway in Mean Girls in the musical. She's mm. the breakout star from Sex Lives of College Girls, and she released her album and now stars in Mean Girls, the movie, as Regina George. So I know some casting directors who think she is going to be a huge star. She already is, but like in mainstream news, I think we are going to know her name in 2024. So remember that name, Renee Rapp. You will we'll revisit this next year, and you'll tell me if you have now heard of her and you know who I'm talking about. Let me file that away. Yes. <laughs> okay. Most shocking pop culture event of 2023. I have two. I have a Bravo and a non-Bravo. My a Bravo is, you know, the Roni reboot. I keep going back to this. Like, it is in retrospect, what's the big deal? But we rebooted a whole franchise. We fired everyone and started over. It's like, that's a big deal. Remember when that was announced that everybody was being fired and we were starting over? The Roni reboot to me is a big, it's shocking. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, what was your second one? And then just non-Bravo related, uh, to announce the 32nd from Mars tour, Jared Leto, who is still fucking hot as hell in his 50s, climbs the Empire State Building? What the fuck? Do you realize this? Uh, Jared Leto climbed the Empire State Building. Like, no. for real. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm going to have to look this up. <laughs> just 30 tough. seconds from Mars was going on tour and to announce the tour. I don't know how, I mean, you're Jared Leto. Yeah. You have a team and you get permission. And he literally, he himself climbed the empire state building. I would never want to do this, but no. I, he, he did it. So there you go. That's kind of shocking. First person ever. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had three, obviously Matthew Perry dying. I think that was a huge shock for a lot of people. Um, Rihanna announcing her pregnancy during the Super Bowl halftime show, not really announcing, but showing, um, I think that was like in the press within minutes. I remember myself watching and being like, what's happening. <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty big deal. 